Hardin-Simmons University has experienced a lot of change and growth in its time. With over 125 years under her belt, HSU can boast a multitude of stories and accomplishments. As you can see from these images, the footprint of the campus may have changed over the years, but the spirit of community and tradition has only grown. A tradition we can date back to the early 1900s is one that we continue to rally around at the start of every fall semester. And that tradition is of the beanie. Beanies have been used in university and college settings for over 100 years to distinguish the newest crop of students from the rest. The first mention of freshmen having to wear beanies can be found in a 1909 edition of The Corral. Rather than the purple and gold beanies you are familiar with today, the beanies from the early 1900s were green. And they were green for two different reasons. Freshmen, like today, were referred to as fish, slime, and conjointly, slimy fish. And slime is thought of as green hence the moniker of a slime cap. The second reason why beanies were bright green can be found again in the corral. It's inferred that President Sandifer did not trust his students if he could not see them. So, the obnoxious color allowed President Sandifer a watchful eye over his younger students, both in and out of class. The student's graduation year was stitched on the front of the beanie with the bill left blank for the freshman to write his name, along with the identifier slime. Today, the graduation year has been replaced with HSU, but the bill is still left blank for the student's name. Over the years, the tradition of the freshman beanie continued to change. The stark divide and competition between classes along with the enforcement to wear and punish when not wearing beanies, diminished with each class. This is probably due to the changing demographic of the student body. The 1900s were riddled with catastrophic events, including World War I, the Great Depression, and World War II. These world events created non-traditional students, a student body that was older, matured, diverse, and with different priorities. In the spring of 1954, the freshman beanie went up for a vote among the student council. It becomes evident in the following fall semester that beanies are no longer mandatory for the freshman class, but strongly encouraged for school spirit. By 1959, the beanie changed from green to purple, and by the early 1960s, the class year was replaced on the front with HSU, giving us the beanie we know today.